and hello my fellow moon children it is tori the hope dealer of guided intuition and i am here to do a moon guidance in this beautiful new moon in aries energy okay i'm going to give you you know exactly what spirit has downloaded on my heart during meditation and also we are going to see what spirit has to say about this new moon in Aries. What energy is coming in? What is going on? What can we expect? And how can we prepare? <laughs> all right? So, first thing first, all right? I just kinda wanna start at the beginning, okay? Before we get into this new moon in Aries, I just wanna talk about, um, we know that we had a full moon in Libra, okay? And that reading that I did was clarity over confusion. So there were a lot of things that got clarity on. There was a great awareness in the month of March that took place in your life, okay? For all of us, excuse me. And I made a video and I'm gonna link it down below um, where we talked about that great awareness was situations, habits, or things that you were probably doing or partaking in, honey. <laughs> and it's okay, that was not ideal for where you're going in your life, what you desire in your life. You gained a lot of clarity, all right? And sometimes that clarity, it can feel amazing, and then sometimes it cannot feel amazing. And don't feel bad if you were on the not feeling amazing part, <laughs> because I was kinda on the not feeling amazing part. However, I have learned to find the beauty, okay, in every situation. There. Y'all, I'm telling you, my love muffins, my fellow moon children, there is something amazing in the air. My butterflies in my stomach were on 100 before I could, I had to settle down and, and start this video five times before I could go forth. And even now you can still hear the excitement. Like you don't understand how much it took me like to scale it down when I did that intro. <laughs> okay. Because there is so much going on. And I really want to let whoever is watching this video, I need you to hear me. And I need you to hear me so clearly, you beautiful soul. There is something mystical and magical taking place in your life. All right? And there is this beautiful thing that we have, and I love it so much. It's called free will. The power to choose. Okay? And though I wish I could choose it for you and I could just jump in your little body and get you to go into whatever it is you are desiring and whatever it is that you want, all right? I can't, but I know one thing. There is so much power inside of you, okay? And what you have been experiencing in your life, even if you're new to my channel, what brought us together, and even if you're not, we know that we have been this whole time on this journey that we've been together and even before, we have been practicing every single day to walk, okay, as our authentical selves. Because there is power in authenticity. I hope I said that word right, but if I didn't, you know what I mean, okay? And spirit gave me that during meditation. There is so much awesomeness, so much beauty, all right? New moon in Aries is ushering in. I guess, you know, people say that Aries, because I, like I said, astrology is not my strongest suit, but they said that Aries is the youngest of the zodiac signs. And it does, and you know, I'm like, wow. So that's why I'm just so hyper, so hunk, so just so ready. And I know sometimes people say that, you know, um, children make um, childish decisions, you know, and sometimes we can act too fast. Uh-uh, nah, 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 y'all not gonna do Aries like that. Let me tell you something. Do you remember when you were a child? Okay, because me and my sisters did, we used to like, your, your, your imagination was on a whole nother level. You understand me? Like when you were playing grocery store, you seen the whole grocery store. When you taking the cans and you was eh, across the cabinet, like the store was there. That was a cashier. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was a cash register. Like everything was on point. All right. When you were Superman, when you jumped off of that couch, you were flying. There is nothing like a child's imaginations and a child's eagerness. A child is fearless. They will jump. Believe me, I have nine nieces and nephews. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> All right, when it comes to children. So I really feel like this new moon in Aries is really, really connecting us back 
with that side of us, that fearless side of us, that here we go, I'm effing ready side of us, like ain't nothing stopping me side of us, okay? And I don't care what you're experiencing and what you're going, what you're looking at. Like I told you, the energy is split. It may be a little difficult. (laughs) There may be something going on in the background. I made a whole video to that down below. However, whatever you're looking at, Okay, wherever you're at, there is so much beauty. There is so much greatness. And this new moon in Air, this new moon in Aries is really going to allow you to tap into that imagination, that fearlessness when you were a child, that eagerness to really go after what you desire. Okay? It's really going to help you choose, really have like, "Oh, just do it." Okay? So, When I was in meditation, this beautiful, powerful meditation that I did, there were some things that spirit has just been giving me throughout the week that is, that is truly going on in this new moon in Aries. And also in the month of April, the month of April is a mystical, magical month. Okay. There has been some seeds, some things that you have been, you have planted and you have been tending to honey a year ago, three years ago, four years ago, four months ago. I don't care. And it is harvest time. All right. Okay. (laughs) So some of the words that spirit gave me, okay. During meditation that what this, what's really going on in this new moon in Aries. Okay. The first thing first is a new beginning because and that full moon in um, Libra in March, uh, March was a great awareness month. You were, you got aware of a lot of things, a lot of clarity in the month of March. And now with this clarity and this awareness that you received, no matter what it is, okay, no matter what that awareness was to you, that gave you the power, okay? It relit your fire for this new beginning, that you're experiencing. There is a newness in you. You can't tell me that it's not. You know what I'm talking about too. There is just a newness that is sitting in your stomach, in your belly, in your soul, in your spirit. Okay. So another thing, the words that come to mind concerning this new moon in Aries was coloring outside the lines. It's time to get creative. All right passion and determination all right going for the desires of your heart like you have never gone for it before so you showing up for you like you never have before all right you are a rebel with a cause and that cause is your life that cause is the desires of your heart and your dreams it is a time to create all right with this new moon in aries And how we can bring that all together, no matter what you are experiencing in your life, okay? What is going on is your soul is integrating with your passion. There is a oneness coming together, all right, with yourself and your desires, all right? (laughs) So I know sometimes that I can get all deep, honey. I can get all deep, but I really want to let you know on an intuitive level, what spirit also gave me that can really help you um, with this new moon and um, Aries that you can get the most out of this new moon and Aries. The first thing is own it. And when I say own it, I mean, own you, all of you, every part of you understand that you are the creator of your life. You make the decisions. You say what it is and you say what it's not. All right. And what you allow will will continue and understand that that floats both ways. And it's time for you to allow. All right. Some good stuff in or some good stuff to continue to flow in. And another thing is consistency is key. Being consistent to you. Being consistent to your healing really focusing on your healing. That is how you get to the desires of your hearts and your dreams, being focused on your healing. This is how we're able to have this moment right now because I was focused on my healing, all right? And I wanna let you know, above all, push past the nerves, push past the doubt, push past the fear because the puzzle is coming 
together. <laughs> All right. So that is what spirit gave me on an intuitive level. My love muffin. Now we are going to see exactly you know, what spirit has to say about this new moon in Aries. All right, my love muffin. So I went ahead already and saged the cards, um, shuffled them and did all that good stuff. <laughs> right, so now I want to ask spirit, okay, the divine, what is it that you want us to know about this new moon in Aries? All of these beautiful souls that are watching okay i place their energies on these cards what message do you have for us that is of our highest good right now in this very moment okay all right so we're going to choose five. Oh, we're choosing for us all right <laughs> wow all right i can dig it we're actually going to take this one i'm going to leave this out then i'm going to choose five one Three, four. Now y'all know my Sagittarius behind. Got to straighten this up. <laughs> so we will be right back. All right, my love muffin. So um, there was a card that fell out and I picked it up. Okay. And then there was one that was flipped over. So I love to take those cards too. So ultimately there was a card that was already flipped over and then one fell on the ground. So I wanted to take this too. So what energy is being provided or coming in, all right, to us in this new moon in Aries. The first we have is unlimited possibilities, all right? <laughs> so listen, there has been so much going on. There are a lot of things that you desire to create. There is a lot of things that you desire to partake in. Some of these things that you have probably felt that, you know what, it's too many people doing this or you know what, I really don't have what it takes to do this. You know how those thoughts can come in at times. This energy, like I told you, it is a time to create, all right? There are unlimited possibilities, unlimited, all right? Meaning there are no limits to what you can create. All right, so the next card that came out was healing energy, okay? <laughs> and there are some ideas, there are some dreams that you have, there are some desires that are on your heart, okay? That I really feel like whatever is being healed, there's a lot of healing taking place right now. Like I told you, we are letting go of the habits, letting go of the people, places, and things that no longer serve us. Okay, but I really feel like I'm done talking about people because people cannot mess up anything that you have going on unless you allow them. So where I really feel like any habits that um, you have been inflicting on yourself, <laughs> that you have been partaking in, is really being healed in this energy. So you can really go for, okay, what you may perceive is the impossible for you, but it really is possible, all right? It's really possible. That thing that you see, that vision, that you're like, oh my God, is that me? You probably can see it for so many other people, but um, you probably couldn't see it for you. But now, in this new moon in Aries, you can see it for you. It's no longer back behind something or far in your head. Like you're seeing you doing the desires of your heart. And I really feel like it's because it's so much healing going on in the background. All right. These downloads and these desires that are being placed on you are sent from the divine. All right, my love muffin. So I got so excited. Right. <laughs> I wanted to pull um, a clarifier for each of these cards. But when it's a pop over, I just had to go in. OK, so here we go. Let's get a clarifier for each of these cards. Please, Spirit, can you please clarify each of these cards? Thank you. Divine. All right. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, look at this. Mm. So on the bottom of this deck, we have the four of vessels, okay, which deal with boredom, okay? To me, I feel like it's complacency, but also we know that the four of cups can talk about a missed opportunity. I feel like there are a lot of opportunities that you may have missed out on the past, okay, honey? I really feel like right now is the time to really reclaim. You're getting an, an, like a, a do-over, 
so to speak, okay, about something that you're very passionate about, something that you truly desire, but maybe, you know, when you were presented with this thing and in the past, it scared you, you were fearful. So maybe you chose to dumb your light down. Maybe you chose to run. Maybe you chose to not go for it for whatever reason. I really feel like everything is full circle now and you're being presented with another opportunity to create something that you truly desire. And this energy is really going to help you bring that out. All right. Bring the desires of your heart out. And sometimes I want to let you know that it can be scary. Okay. And yes, so many beautiful things are happening. But let's just say and called to really um, show up at a place and talk. Okay. And it's like a room of 100 people or 60 people, you know, but you really, you really have a message on your heart. But, you know, that's when that fear may show up. That's when that anxiety may kick in. In spite of those emotions turning up, I need you to go for it. Okay. Healing is a big part of really achieving the desires of your heart. All right. Healing is a big part of really having the desires of your heart. So now we're going to see exactly what spirit has to say about this new moon in Aries. All right. <laughs> Not, no surprising here. So the first thing that spirit wants to talk about is death. OK. And to clarify this, we have the seven of bows, which talks about clearance. There is a lot of things that um, have been dead. OK. That are falling off or you're taking the trash out, okay? You are really clearing. So this is why I feel like with this new moon in Aries, we're really gonna be focused on your healing. Healing comes first because healing is how you obtain the desire of your heart. That's why I have guided intuition. This is why I fo I'm so focused on self-love, self-worth, self-acceptance, and really lifting that vibration within yourself because when we know that everything that is in our life is a reflection of us. When you are whole and you are healed and you are being your authentic self, this is when the desires of your hearts will come to you. But first, there's a death that has to happen. All right, there is a clearance, okay? And I really feel like in the month of March, we became aware of habits and things that were not ideal for us, okay? And we're removing them. <laughs> All right. We are choosing to no longer hold, harbor these feelings, these emotions or harbor this fear of, you know, being successful or this fear of not being enough. OK, we're letting that go. All right. And Aries is really washing that away if you allow it and you flow with it. <laughs> OK. And then next we have burden. Oh, with the guardian, this is the devil card, okay, in the traditional tarot deck. So I really feel like what this, when we do, we become, being that you're focused so much on your healing, all right, whatever has been a burden to you for all of us, it can be something different. Whatever, you know, unhealthy obsession that you've been doing or cycle you found yourself in over and over and you're like, oh my God, why am I here? Why do I keep self-sabotaging myself, okay? <laughs> this is what's falling off, that burden. That thing that's been blocking you from your stuff, that's been blocking you from really whatever it is that you've been desiring on your heart, whatever that is, okay? Because Aries is really going to help you step into your power. Oh, like you're going to own it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> All right. And then we have past, present, and future. And then we have the 10 of arrows talking about instruction. Remember when I said a lot of things are coming full circle, all right? Um, a lot of ending, a lot of deaths, okay, are happening. So I really feel like you're releasing the past. You will release the past and you're really focused in this moment, okay? And we know that in this moment, is where our power is, okay? Because how you prepare for the future is in this moment. What are you doing in this moment? And in this moment, it's very important that you listen to your intuition, that you listen to your the um that you listen to the spirit within inside you. Listen to the call of your heart. 
what instructions have the, you know, the divine placed in your heart, okay, that's really going to help you bring about the desires of your heart. We know that we are kicking unhealthy habits. We know that we are no longer ignoring our intuition, all right? We are no longer, you know, putting it to the side. We have whole time, we have really been working with strengthening our bonds with ourself. That's why I have my love muffins look in the mirror in the morning and, and talk to yourself. Check in with yourself. Okay? Because now you have strengthened that bond with your um with your inner self. And now you are able to really listen to the guidance that you are getting from within. Because that is the blueprint of how you really get here to the future. Okay? Can you see that? <laughs> that is how you get here. So I really feel like um, Aries is really going to help you strengthen that relationship with yourself. And that's due to all the healing that you are pouring in yourself. Okay. And next we have, yeah, integration. <laughs> all right. And then we have the Knight of Cups. It's Knight of Vessel, but we know it's the, it's the Knight of Cups. All right. And I really feel like whatever you are desiring, whatever you're wanting, understanding it's not going to take a long time, whether it's healing, whether it's a desired um, career, um, financial situation that you want, a partnership, something, I don't care what it is. Okay. Listen, it's all coming together. And Aries is really going to help you put the pieces together. You need each valuable piece. Okay. It's each piece is important. It's all coming together. And where you are currently right now is bringing in the desires of your heart. Okay? It's all coming together. And next we have <laughs> movement into balance. Four of stones dealing with protection. Like I told you, the things that you are doing right now in this moment is securing your future. OK. So whatever. Guidance you are being given in the month of April in this new moon in Aries, go for it. I don't care how extreme it is. I don't care how you're like, oh, my God, Tony, you're crazy. What? You are protected. Protection, the four of stones. You are protected. This is a part of your destiny. This is a part of the will that God has for your life. I don't care whatever you believe in, honey, Allah, Buddha, um, you know, the universe, all of the above, Jesus. I don't care. This is a part of your makeup. This is a part of your DNA. This is for you. And Aries is really going to make it clear to you. This new one in Aries is really going to make it clear to you. That this is for you. All right. So embrace it, invite it in, focus on your healing, because by you really focusing on your healing, invest in your healing, invest in yourself. OK, I want you to believe in you like you never have before. All right. <laughs> so before we get out of here, what I want to do for my love muffins, my fellow moon children, is I just want to grab everyone's energy spirit who is in attendance right now, whenever this video may find them. And I want to know what does the new moon and Aries need from each of these beautiful souls to really bring forth our, oh, we got it. <laughs> All right, so this is what Aries really needs from you to really get the most of this new moon in Aries. All right, so the first thing we have is Council of Light. I love this card because this card is letting you know that we are all divinely connected. All right, I need you to understand that whenever you need help, whatever question that you have on your heart, there is an answer and there is somebody here to help you. You are divinely connected, okay? There are angels and guides on the spiritual realm here for you. Don't be afraid to call out. Don't be afraid, all right, to ask. Simply ask. 
So in this new moon in Aries, the divine really wants you to know, don't be afraid to call on your angels. Don't be afraid to call on the divine. Don't be afraid to seek counsel from the spiritual realm, okay? Because whatever you ask, whenever I have ever, whenever I ask for guidance, it's going to show, okay? It's going to show up, all right? <laughs> Maybe you asked for something and you found this message. You're going to find the confirmation that you need. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, ask for healing. Set the intent, okay? It's what this new moon, yeah, the new moon in Aries needs from you. Also, we have break the chain, all right? Because um, I really feel like this new moon in Aries is really going to provide you with the answers, all right? To how to break the chains, how to walk away from something or how to go to something, how to kick that habit. And what is needed from you is to make the decision to choose. Because I want to be honest with you guys. A lot of you are conquering fears and are daring to be different where women or men generational in your family were scared to go there. But the chains are being broke with you. <laughs> All right. The chains break with you. These patterns stop with you. You are truly creating a new legacy. So with that being said, my fellow moon children, I love you guys so freaking much. And I'm sending you so much love, so much light and so much peace. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care.